proteos we have already discussed about chronic penny model lorentz root model for the solid state physics in this video we shall briefly discuss about the lattice vibrations in this video i shall consider why do we need to consider the vibrations of lattice in solid state physics and we shall first discuss about the monoatomic lattice then uh, we will carry on our lecture series this lattice vibration so i request you to watch this full video to understand the physics of crystal vibrations now why do you need to study the lattice vibration in solid state physics because the study of lattice vibration is important for understanding how energy is absorbed in solids for gas for molecules there is no lattice but here the occurrence of lattice in a periodic way is happening in crystal vibrations so suppose at low temperature what the which amount of energy or if you apply some energy external energy is applied to the crystal what is happen going to happen with the crystal this energy can be absorbed two types of spaces one is the electronics by the electrons and another is the by the lattice so the absorption of two types one is the lattice energy another is the electronic energy so the heat can go to the electrons for this electronic energy or the heat can go to the vibration of the positive charge in the lattice so this can be eventually measured from the heat capacity which can be expressed as c equals to du by dt so for a metal c consists of two terms one is the electronic term and another is the lattice term so c is gamma t plus beta t cube or it can be written as c by t equals to gamma plus beta t square so this is the uh, graph of c by t versus t square graph so here this is the nature of the graph and the slope indicates here and this is the uh, intercept that is the intercepting at this c by t axis so in crystal we have to consider the two terms one is occurring due to the uh, electron of the energy level and another is occurring due to the level energy level due to the lattice vibration so how do we model the lattice vibration how to find out the expression for the lattice vibration let us go to a simple one dimensional crystal and this is the chain of atoms so suppose the this is a diatomic uh, picture here the, the masses of the atoms are different but suppose we are taking a monoatomic lattice so you will only get the atoms that are arranged regularly with the same mass so first of all we can consider this one dimensional lattice motion or the lattice chain of atoms the motion of harmonic approximation so harmonic approximation at a certain instant of time this lattice at the position or at n minus 1 will be have certain displacement and this lattice will also have certain displacement and correspondingly this lattice or uh, lattice also have certain displacement so suppose the force acting on the nth atom is force will be c into un minus 1 minus un plus c into un minus 1 minus un so this equation of motion due to this nearest two neighbors if i consider this force on the nth atom due to this two motion of the nearest two neighbors then we can write the equation of motion as m del to u del t2 equals to c u n plus 1 minus u n plus c u n minus 1 minus u n or it can be written as minus c of 2 u n minus u n plus 1 minus u n minus 1 so what is c here c is the force constant and capital m is the atomic mass of this chain of atoms now what will be the solution of this harmonic oscillator we all know this for this harmonic equation of harmonic approximation motion harmonic oscillating motion the solution can be of the form u of x t can be written as a e to the power r iota q x n minus omega t or this q can be written in many books as k k x n minus omega t 
So what is this Xn? Xn is the equilibrium position of the nth atom or it can be written as Xn equals to n into a. So now if you replace this uh, ux value in this equation, what you will get? You will get this expression that m of minus omega square into the power iota q n a equals to minus c into twice e to the power iota q n a minus e to the power iota q n plus 1 a minus e to the power iota q n minus 1 a. After solving this, you will be with this expression that m omega square equals to 4 c sine square q a by 2. So what is the dispersion relation? Dispersion relation is omega equals to root over 4 c by m mod of sine q a by 2. Now, what I am changing here, suppose I am changing q to q plus 2 pi by a. What is happening? This atomic displacements, if you change the position of q to q plus 2 pi by a, then the frequency value will not change. Means the solution will be physically identical. So we can consider this q value within minus pi by a to plus pi by a. So this is the first Villua zone. And what is the maximum frequency here? The maximum frequency will be when sine of this term will be 1, that is sine qa by 2 will be 1, and it will be left with omega equals to root over 4c by n, or it can be written as 2 into root over c by m. So just draw this omega by root over 4c by m uh, with q, you will get this type of graph. So another way to look this dispersion relation, this is known as dispersion relation, that if you just this wave that is the represented by this solid curve, it conveys no information to the dashed curve. Okay, so if these wavelengths are longer than 2a, then that will represent a motion. This means that k value is limited within minus a by pi by a to plus pi by a. So friends, we have an announcement that we have already uh, started our interview guidance program, test series program in this session and daily discussion is occurring to boost up your interview performance, to boost up your test series performance and to boost up for the preparation of net like examination and uh, get a chance to IIT uh, and ISER and research institutes like uh, in India like TIFR where you can easily get a PhD in, in, in admission. And if, uh, if you are interested to join in this session, uh, in our discussion for the test series and for the interview guidance program, kindly contact with this number or any other uh, contact, like if you can contact our Gmail or Telegram channel, Physics by IITNS. So let us come to the discussion. We have come with the expression of the dispersion relation that is omega equals to 4c by m sine q a by 2. So at the boundaries that is the at the boundary means that at the boundary of the Brillua zone which is k q equals to plus minus pi by a what is happening this un will be a standing wave. So it will represented by a into e to the power minus i um, 1 to the power n e to the power minus iota omega t because earlier the term with qx minus omega t, but here there is no term of qx. This is only as another term of e to the power minus iota omega t and there is no terms of kx, so no propagation. So this represents a standing wave. Now whenever you are going with, a, you are getting a standing wave, you need to understand that what will be the velocity of this standing wave. So for that, you need to calculate the phase velocity, you need to calculate the group velocity of it. So what is the definition of phase velocity? That is Vp can be written as omega by q. Everywhere the k is q, k is written as q. Okay, don't get confused with q. This is simply omega by k or omega by q. And group velocity Vg is d omega by dq. So Vg can be written as you just differentiate it with respect to q, you will get a into root over c by m cos q a by 2. Now at v equals to 0, what will happen? v equals to 0 at the boundaries of the Brillua zone, that is there is no energy transfer 
which is giving itself as a standing wave. What is the feature of this dispersion relation? So most of the waves described by this wave vector K, they are traveling waves. That is the wave can propagate throughout the lattice, but at the zone boundary, that is at the Brillouin zone when K equals to plus minus pi by A, this wave becomes the standing waves. That is this wave itself moves neither to the left nor to the right or the wavelength is infinite. So at K equals to plus minus pi by A, these are vibrations out of phase and so the wave is not propagating. They are out of phase vibration. If they all vibrate equally in phase, then there will be a prop propagation of standing uh, of tra of these traveling waves uh, or of these acoustic waves. But if there is out of phase vibration, there will be no propagation. Now, what is the long wavelength limit? Suppose this lambda is very, very greater than A. That is this Q equals to 2 pi by lambda, which will be very, very less than 2 pi by A, which means that QA is very, very less than 1. So this small Q that is close to the center of the Brillouin zone, the value of Q is very much smaller. Then what happened to the dispersion relation? The dispersion relation will be almost linear. So the curves in the dispersion relation earlier we were finding, then it will all become a linear dispersion relationship. So we'll get straight relations, uh, straight, li uh, straight line like this. A VP and VG will also be equal and that will be A into root over C by M. This is the sound velocity for the one dimensional lattice. In the next lecture, we shall consider about the diatomic lattice and there will be consideration of two different atoms, one with the mass one M1 and another is with the mass M2. And then we shall find out what will be the dispersion relation of that and we further come to the discussion of optical photon, acoustic uh, optical phonon branch, acoustical phonon branch and all those things. So friends, you can join our test series program with a minimum cost of only 699 rupees. You can join our interview guidance program only 1049. So hurry up. You can boost up your performance in net uh, and in interviews for PhD so admission or integrated PhD admission. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.